Hey everybody, Mel here, 400 AGL. I want to talk about my internet just a little bit. As you guys know, I've been struggling with internet here at the house. Ever since I got off the road, my internet's been a problem. On the screen, I got a screenshot here of my typical upload and download speed. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. 0.25 megabits per second down and 0.15 up. Uh, I've worked on a few different options. I've tried a few different things and I think I finally, finally found the answer. Um, I bought some stuff and I'm gonna put that on the screen right now. I bought this stuff right here. I talked to these people on the phone and they said that this router would absolutely solve my problem if I put a couple of Yagi antennas up in the air and put them all together and all that. So I already had one of those Wilson antennas. It's called a Yagi. And it's a 50 ohm antenna. It's designed for LTE. And it receives uh, and transmits on the 700 to 2700 megahertz band. It covers the whole spectrum. So that's like rocking it. And this router, the Mopi 4500 4G XE LTE SIM 4G LTE router. You take your SIM card out of your um, mobile device. In my case, it was a jetpack. And put it in the router. And the router does the work. It works directly off the SIM card and becomes your other wireless device. Uh, it just, easy setup, go in the menu, set up your Wi-Fi, password protect it, make it work so that no one else can just use it. Because when you first get the router, the, the Wi-Fi signal on it is wide open. Anybody can log on to it and receive the Wi-Fi that it's broadcasting. It comes factory with four antennas in that image is a couple of pairs of omnidirectional antennas but when you want to use the Wi-Fi side of it the receiving side you use a flat directional panel antenna like this a pair of them actually and they fasten to the rear antenna connections and then the you use the omnidirectional ones on the front because those are the antennas that rebroadcast the Wi-Fi once it receives it from the tower. So you would hook this thing all up, put these two antennas on it, and point these at your cell tower, and you have Wi-Fi. So I did that temporarily. I had it sitting on the windowsill on the side of the house that faces the antenna tower, the cell tower that in one of my previous videos I showed you was 1.2 miles away. I bought a second Wilson antenna and I bought Wilson because it's the same thing does the same job physically and mechanically it's identical to what I could buy on Mopi's website or any other type of Yagi antenna like this off of Amazon or wherever and you see both of these are are from Amazon but you can buy the Wilson for $49. So since I already had one Wilson, I figured I would go ahead and get the second one from them as well. So I bought the Wilson antennas. And then I bought the router. And it comes in this box like this. That's the box it comes in. And then I know you guys remember the video I just put out of this guy here. Uh working up on the tower now he's standing on top of my antenna tower which is 45 feet in the air at that point where he's at so he's uh he's the next billy trip for sure um he mounted my antennas he tied the coax uh down the mast all the way with zip ties tidied it up really good um made sure that he kept them pointed the right direction and leveled and all that stuff and so it worked out really well. I was really pleased with all that. Then I 
put the coax together inside the house on the router and when I fired that baby up I ended up with this so I have the router sitting on a little stool in the corner here and I have the coax connected to the rear antenna mounts where you would normally attach the paddles and ran that coax to the large coax that goes outdoors and up the mast to the antennas and I got three lights I got a power light on the left the center light shows that it's receiving signal from the tower the third light shows that it's broadcasting Wi-Fi the next light over would light up if I had a modem a wired modem from say cable or DSL and plug an Ethernet cable into that port then it would be getting then it would broadcast that internet as Wi-Fi throughout my house the next four lights are for the LAN ports where you can run other things off of the router um, you can hardwire your computer to it with an Ethernet cable up to four computers actually or uh, one of the things I'm going to be putting on it is a, uh, a a big storage device that'll connect via the, the router and connect with Ethernet so that'll be one of the things that I'll be adding to it but I went from the interesting thing about all of this is I went from this on the average sometimes a little better up to two or maybe three megabits per second download um, and maybe one and a half or two megabits per second upload I went from that all the way to here this is my current average upload and download speed 35 to 42 roughly on the download and anywhere from 8 to about 11 and a half megabits per second on the upload um, I ran a test YouTube stream I started the broadcast at 720p and it ran fine uh, as you guys know the best I could get was 240 or 360 at best um, so I was smooth broadcasting easily at 720p I went back and oh somebody's texting me there goes my phone uh, I forgot to turn it off sorry about that I stopped the stream I reset the settings to 1080p restarted the stream and was actually broadcasting at 1080 so from now on I have internet at home and you guys will be happy and nobody will be crying about the 360 or 240 um, speed anymore so my videos are gonna clear up everything's gonna look a lot nicer my live streams rather are gonna be they're gonna be spot on from now on so there's a good review for the MoFi I highly recommend it if anybody wants one I'll get links in the description for the antennas and the router itself um, I think it does a phenomenal job. I think it's fantastic. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not, click that little, right down there, that little thing, you know, for the subscribe and the bell button. Click on those things so you know when I upload another video. We'll see you on the next one.